Okay, so for my project, I'll be using the one millimeter hook for the waistband. And then I'll be using this acrylic yarn in the color black. Okay, so first I start out with my slip knot and I'm going to do my chain stitches. I'll be using the rib cage method, so I did just five chain stitches and then built on that. So yeah, this is where I started my chain stitch. I was able to do five of them. Yeah, then I continue with my double crochet. So at this point my first row was done to continue i chained one and then flipped my project and then continue with my double crochet yeah so that was my chain one and then i flipped and then continued with a double crochet As seen, my band is beginning to form, so just keep going on. When you get to the end of your row, just chain one, flip the project, and continue to double crochet. Yeah, and I also measured my waist and realized that I needed to make my band um, a length of 30 inches. Yes, yeah, so that was my goal to make sure that I was able to make my waistband that long. After going on for a while, I was able to finally hit my 30 inches and so I cut off my excess yarn and used my yarn needle to sew them together as seen.
So after the initial roll, what I did was to continue with the four chain stitches. Then I wrapped my hook around my yarn three times. Then I put my hook into the hole from the first roll and crocheted my way through it like so. I started by measuring my waistband in order to get the exact middle and then I used my stitch markers to do my kates. For my crotch area I did the usual 4 chain stitches, wrapped around my yarn 3 times and then crocheted into the next hole. Now this time instead of um, crocheting horizontally I did my work vertically and so I did 7 rows of that. Seven rows later my crotch had formed in so I used my stitch markers to connect the end of my crotch area to my pants like so and then I used the yarn needle to join them together since it was an easier way for me to get around doing that. After sewing my crotch area, I went on to attach my yarn to my project in order to begin crocheting the leg portion of my pants. I wanted my mesh pants to have the form of a wide leg pant and so in order to get me that shape, I decided to increase my stitches, my chain stitches by one and so this time around, I did five chain stitches wrapped around my yarn four times and then crocheted in the hole. Yes, in order to have a wider leg, that's what I did. And also for the leg portion, note that I did them one leg at a time.
had to keep going on like this for 26 rows so I was able to get to my ankle area. I did the rest of the work off camera and so here I'm just showing my progress. Eventually. After a week working on my project, I was finally able to get to this point where I was able to get my pants as seen. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, like, and share.